What's up guys, this is Puerto Rican Boy and this is part 9 of Jack 2. I have a proposition for you, Jack. Racing is the biggest sport in the city. Errol is the undisputed grand champion. He's crazy and dangerous on the track. <laughs> My kind of guy. Only a fool would dare race against him, eh? And that's where you two come in. A client of mine is looking for a fast driver for her racing team. Here's a security pass to get you into the stadium section. Uh, and your contract with just a few trifles for me. <laughs> I've uh, already signed your name to save time. Hmm? We the racers hereby agree to give crew all proceeds from race earnings, endorsement fees, broadcast royalties, syndication residuals, vehicle sponsorships, small appearance fees, collectible card assets, fast food tie-ins, use of likeness rights, talk show deals, clothing lines, all print rights including book, novella, comic, pamphlet, ticket tape, neon sign, and bathroom graffiti designs. <sighs> Toy rights, shoe lines, mood rings, game rights. Game rights? Vitamin endorsements, city kickback, movie deals, and of course, all death and dismemberment accident insurance claims. <laughs> we can work out the tiny details later. If you can get from here to the race garage near the stadium in less than three minutes, my client said she would consider letting you drive for her team. Make me proud, hmm? Okay, and this is just a simple pointing to point B mission. Kind of underwhelming, like... Sweeping for suspects. I don't know, a bit uncreative. Just get to another point in just three minutes. Eh, not really interesting. At least the last time we did this, there was like cops on our ass. But here it's just driving. Now, I could have done this mission earlier. However, I chose to do Torn's mission of saving Vin at the strip mine in that chain of missions because by doing that, you get the yellow security pass. And I just unlocked it right now. And this is a really big shortcut. The first time I played this game, it was this mission I did first and I kind of had trouble with it because if you don't get that yellow security pass it's you have to take the long way because you only get the green security pass from crew and that's pretty much you have to go to the other side of the city and then go through where I'm at right now and in my opinion that just took too much time However, you know, this it's this mission does show how small the city really is, you know, when you compare it to a game like GTA and which you have this giant ass city. Like the size of Haven City is pretty much the size of, of like half of one of the islands from Vice City. It's not that big at all. And you know, this mission kind of shows it, and I can get to like the other side of the city in like three minutes. How about that? However, I do like this section of the city. I think this is like the downtown section. Well, that's what I'm going to call it. The industrial section is where, you know, stuff like the po the power station and the sewers were at. And that's like my least favorite section of the city. Because everything's red and dark. And it really just hurts my eyes, really. And there's about to be a cutscene. So, yeah. Uh, hello? Crew said someone was looking for a race driver? I'm busy right now. You must be Crew's new errand boy. Look, I don't mean to be rude. You did get here fast. But I'm not interested in any new drivers right now. And I've got work to do. Is there anything we can do? No! I'm, uh, working on a secret, uh, uh, vehicle project. Okay, sorry. Listen. If you think you've got the guts to race in this town, try taking my prototype jet board out on the stadium court. Beat the stadium challenge and maybe I'll consider you for my team. Gee, I wonder who might be behind that curtain. I've never heard her voice before. But now we have to go to the racing garage, and we're gonna get this cool little thing called a jet board. It's like the most badass thing you will ever see, you know, Tony Hawk's got nothing on this. And it's just a few more roll jumps away. Look at that. It looks so cool. It's a hoverboard. Well, no, that's Ratchet and Clank. It's a jet board. 
but unlike the hoverboard, you can do tricks on it. Right now, I'm just doing a stupid ass tutorial. You can reach such amazing heights with this thing too. Oh, and that's bullshit. You know, yeah, it is glitchy though, the grinding though. So you know, that's just one thing I should say. However, other than that, the jet board is probably the most badass thing you will ever ride on. I mean look at that. You can doing tricks will boost your speed. And not only that, but if you do stuff like flips and the boost jump, you can reach like unimaginable heights with it. You know, it, it's sort of like Sonic Adventure in that, you know, doing a spin dash jump will get you like off of a hill. If you spin dash jump off a hill, it gets you to really big heights. And in this game, doing tricks on the hoverboard gets you on real gets you really high up in the air and it looks so cool. Anyways, we're in the we're doing this little challenge in which we have to get do a bunch of tricks and I think in like two seconds I beaten the gold and I'm going for the bronze record it's not that hard what I recommend is you just spam the R1 and L1 button and the X button and all that all those buttons together and go on top of a grind rail and just grind and do tricks just spam a shit ton of tricks just mash those buttons the R1, L1, and X button, and then just fuck around with the analog stick. And look at that, 8,000 points. That's pretty much all I did. You know, I'm happy that I got the gold, the gold medal for like in my first try. In my previous recording, um, I did get it, but because you know some shit happened that I couldn't get all my files and I had to re-record I was kinda scared that I wouldn't get the gold again but I'm glad that I did I even set a new record 13,000 points Congratulations. You achieved the anybody record. watching I challenge you to beat that record I just made I dare you come on and your reward will be nothing at all well, maybe a shout out, but you have to have proof though. Yeah, it's probably one of the more easier challenges to beat. You know, that's such a fucking tease. I mean, you they show you how awesome that jet board is, give you a chance to do tricks with it, and they teach you how to use it, show you how awesome it's gonna be, and then you have to put it away. You know, when I first played it, I was like, I was so pissed off that I couldn't keep it. Nope, you have to wait until Act 2. So, yeah. Not cool. Not cool, Naughty Dog. Not cool at all. We beat the stadium challenge. Great. People do get lucky. Listen, don't you have someone to collect money from or beat up or something? You don't like us, do you? You work for that slime ball crew. What's not to like? Looks like you've won a few races. Isn't it true the city champion gets to tour the palace? Yeah, why? Could you get me into the palace? A friendly visit, I doubt. Yeah, I'm a real fan of the Baron. Okay, I'll help you out if you stop bothering me. I saw an old maintenance elevator at the base of one of the palace support towers. That old lift might take you up to the palace if you can find a way to turn on the elevator's power. All right, we're going to be doing the next mission. Right about. <clears throat> oh god, I gotta clear my throat. Yep, now we're gonna do the shit again. Hey, Sugar Plum! You new here? Well, what you got that's uh, hot? And wait, I've seen you before. You're with the underground. Shh! I'm Tess. Torn sent me to spy on Crew. Play along, and I may be able to get my hands on a few of Crew's secrets. Ooh, I love undercover work, baby. But uh, two can work better than one. Let me help you out. <laughs> wow, there sure are a lot of bottles back here. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that's... Ooh, that, that goes down there. Uh... Ooh, boy. Gee, I suppose that's real gold floating in there? How about this purple stuff? Woo! Jack, that's the stuff. I need you Fire. and that talking rat to go around and make a few collections for me. Hey there, five gins. 
How's crimes? What's his problem, eh? Nothing. I'm just fine. Mind your own business. I sometimes feel so very... Listen, very I have six clients around town. Tiny We're about to make money drops for me. I need you to collect each money back as fast as you can. And take care of any guards who get curious. Mm. Get the money so back too late, then some sound is so dry. You know what's the trouble with you, Crow? You got no reason. This place could be a real swinging joint. Happy heaven with more dancing, more macking, more women. Jack knows what Just I'm gonna talking go about. Teen money bags Jack. before they disappear you know and bring them back here. If you lose what? even one I bag, love you, then man. don't come back, eh? All right, now we're doing this mission. This ain't really that tough. Only 14 money bags, except those cops get on your ass real quick. And of course, you have to be very fast about taking those money bags. But whatever, you know, it's not really that difficult. Yeah, it gave me trouble the first time I played. But really, you know, just stick to the lower hover zone. Don't go on the high one like I am. Oh yeah, and I'm also jumping cars. Um, you know, just to be safe, I did jump to a bigger car because the bigger cars will take more damage. And you know, just in case that you know the light zoomer might not be enough and that it might get shot down, I decided to take that bigger car. You know, that's one trick you should learn though. If it's your first time playing, learn how to jump from car to car. It only takes two seconds of practice to do it. And you know, it's gonna really help you out on one on some of the later missions in the game, you know. You're gonna be in a situation in which all the cops are up your ass and your car is about to get shot down and you have to jump to another car because if you stand out in the open for too long, like for like ten seconds, they will fuck you in your asshole. So you definitely have to get you definitely need want to be in a vehicle at all times during missions like the one I'm doing right now. And trust me, they get a lot harder than this. So, you know, just be prepared. Just learn how to jump from car to car. It's just a simple little trick that will help you out a lot. And of course, all you're doing is just driving from one side of the industrial section to the other. It's, yeah. I hate the industrial section. Look at all this red and dark. Oh my god, it's seriously not fun to look at as compared to, you know, the downtown area we just went through in the st near the stadium. That looked really cool. It looks like a true futuristic world. This place looks more like where factories would be set in or, you know, shops. Well, not really shops, but, you know, more like factories or places where stuff is manufactured. Nothing really important. You know, they're not going to put any tourist sites in that section for sure. Anyways, yeah, the mission's already done. You do get a really good power up from this, or weapon upgrade from this mission though. And it's really cool. Anyways, yeah, see you guys later. This is Puerto Rican Boy. I'm out, and please subscribe. Here's a gun upgrade. Now get out! I need my beauty money. Trust me, brother. There aren't enough hours in the day. <laughs>